Pokemon with guns, aka Pal World. In the Pal World universe, we have the good old collection and beast capture system of finding new pals and collecting them. But the twist now is you have guns. You can use both against new beasts or pals. Use your own pals as shields and weapons and also towards humans. No pal or human is safe in this universe. But not only is it a beast capture game, it is also a farming sim. Build your house, tend your farm, become an engineer, build rocket ships, go on quests with your friends to save pals who have been enslaved for mass production of weapons and honestly i have no idea what to expect from this game as it is already pushing boundaries which is why we're here today to watch the new trailer that was released two weeks ago and the release date so let's get to it that's a very evil like pokemon Okay, they're going full blast, and then we have the guns! <laughs> oh, that was an interesting creature. Very Eevee-like. There we go! <laughs> Freaking bazooka! Oh, they gotta be legendaries. Oh, so it's like Monster Hunter against big level beasts. And finally, some antagonists? Oh yeah, open world exploration. Heck yeah. Multiplayer, very, ooh, very salamancy. January 24. Holy crap, that was a lot of action. It was very little time. We got confirmed a little, or reconfirmed a few things. Stop. Multiplayer. It is absolutely multiplayer. It is absolutely gonna be open world exploration. We have our, <laughs> the good old pew pewings, which I'm honestly very excited for. And here you can see what I think is gonna be like a, an example of how you can craft your base and how many different things your, your pals can participate in. Like, of course, fire type pals will makes sense they can help fuel fires not only cooking but i'm thinking the furnaces we see in the background will also be a big part of their life or a big part of what we can utilize them for i swear to god <laughs> the combination of these super derpy looking pokemon with these massive guns oh my god what i'm curious to see though is is this going to be a closed adventure with your friends or is this going to be open worlds where other people are also roaming i'm I'm very interesting to see, or interested to seeing the battle system as we can see here it's it looks very much like monster hunter or even i'd even say uh Zelda, where you have a big boss battle beast ish a health bar as well as a level which pokemon also made use of in their recent game in scarlet and violet and this is the first time we see some new characters or actually see characters that has some kind of significance so the question is are these are these people going to be like our guides or are these going to be some kind of like the previous one would be a guy. She could totally look like look like the you know the rival. All right, is this one supposed to be like the new it legendary, like the legendary, the way they made the entrance after introducing the other characters? And here, there's this the slave saving. We gotta we gotta save these small guys. What I could be scared of if we take a look at what would seem like gameplay. I might be scared that these graphics we see now, they look stunning. Maybe not the beasts, but the surroundings may not be at this level when it's released. Okay, oh, we can always guess, but many games unfortunately have a history of making these incredibly fantastic, beautiful trailers and gameplay trailers. And then we, when we get to the actual action, it is not the same quality, but this looks like genuine. Grispel, this looks like genuine gameplay this is gameplay this is what we can expect quality wise from the gameplay very very you know this is basically a pokeball this is basically a pokeball but there's only so many ways you can think of beast capture systems the pokemon have pokeballs digimon have done everything from digital devices to to cards and there's also what well, i believe some has been used you know the the uh a Beyblade system with capturing beast inside of the, the I don't even know the name of it right now there's only a certain level of creativity you can do and this looks like maybe like a talisman more than a ball but yeah it works it works very much Eevee inspired there's a lot of Eevee inspired creatures they know where to Eevee inspired creatures and sheep they know where to focus in their marketing of 
creatures towards those who would be more cozy gaming. And then the appeal to people like me who are goofy and love a silly, ridiculous, chaotic time with the most derby looking creature can find and then attaching the biggest set of bazooka weapons to it. So they really make sure in this trailer to show something that can appeal all kind of game all kind of gamers gamers i think this these two could very much be like legendaries or suedo legendaries i'm really interested in seeing how the combination of actual gun weapons will work together with the pals and the the elemental battle system and it looks like the pals It looks like the pals will be free roaming the world. Again, to draw a comparison, like we know of the recent two Pokemon games, they will free roam, which is absolutely the way it should be. Let's take a look at one of the uh, older trailers. Same music, the same creature, J Jet Dragon. That was the one we saw before at the end. This is introducing pals, you know? in what looks like their natural habitat. Oh, that's not a swallow. Oh my god, I love you. <laughs> that was what we saw before. Oh, that's a Luxray. Oh no, poor guy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> This is so interesting. And the graphics are the same gameplay wise. Oh, there we see the enslavement of the pals we can rescue. Oh, that's a cre Oh, that's an interesting one. Sure, why wouldn't a monkey run around with a gun? Oh my God, yes, you can use the pals as weapons themselves like that. Oh dear god. Yeah, when we compare to what we see gameplay wise or what seems to be gameplay in this in this trailer, the graphics lives up to the standard we saw for, from the previous one that was released a few, few like two weeks ago. This is like six month old tra trailer. I do believe we can actually is expect oh we can see right here in the YouTube search, people are really into the what is Merith? Merith? I get it. That's a interesting looking creature again this there is a distinct style comparison to pokemon but then again there's only a certain level of of out thinking of the box of new creatures you can make without being too similar to either pokemon or digimon or whatever like i just recently played cassette beast another beast capture game everything is digitalized but i definitely saw comparisons to some other beast collecting games but this is interesting this is very interesting I am no less hyped than I was before. <laughs> I'm so excited for this game to be released. And we can expect our Razor played in January. That's like six months from now for a lucky early January. So that's fantastic. I, I, have high, I have high hopes and high expectations for this game. As the amount of trailers they have released at the level of quality they have released, they, 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 they are bound to make something fantastic. They really, really are. So if you haven't seen anything of Palo World before this video, you are very much welcome. Be excited to play this beast capture gunslinging open world multiplayer yet cozy gaming farm sim adventure i lost complete track i'm excited you should be too we're gonna keep our eyes open for january when we can play this effing gem let me know in the comments what you are the most excited for